Hello, this is Tofman Trifle Production with another Blender Quick Tip. And in this Quick Tip, I'm going to show you how you can easily retopologize your mesh or your models in Blender by using the OK Topo or OK Topo, however you want to pronounce it, add-on. Uh, let's check out the developer's site. And it says a one-click smart retopo. And it's true to that 100%. Usually in Blender, when you model anything using these sculpting features, you get these quads here, which aren't good for rigging or animation. So you have to read topologize with it, which means build it again, but with a cleaner looking mesh, which in Blender and any 3D software is tedious. Uh, so that's why this add on is made. Could you do? There's also another uh, add on that does this. I forgot the name of it. I haven't showcased that yet. But this one is a lot easier to use. Now for the single user is $24. Two to five users is $63. For five plus users is $98. And right now it just does the face or the head of your model. But as we scroll down to see the future uh, additions to the add-on, uh, plan features of the full body support, which would be highly welcome. That's going to be a really big game changer. Exclusion zones, editable guides, custom topology presets, auto texture baking, and more based on our feedback as the users. So once the full body support comes in, this is going to be a big, big, big add-on to acquire. Um, uh, the developer says it works in 3.6 all the way up to the higher versions of Blender, but I've downloaded it in 4.1 and it doesn't seem to work or function like it's supposed to. So for the tutorial, I'm using 4.4 myself. Now I'll leave a link of this uh, below the video so you guys can download yourself and check it out. But I have 4.4 opened. And the installation process is still the same. Just go to Edit, Preferences, and go to Add-ons. Click on this drop-down and uh, arrow. Click on Install from Disk. Find that zip folder. Click on that. Click on Install from Disk. And it should be installed in Blender. Let me type in OK. And there it is. Put a check in the box and you're ready to go. Now the key thing with this um, add-on for it to work properly in your scene is that your model has to be exactly centered right down the z-axis because it uses mirroring to adjust the uh, spheres on your model so it has to be pretty much centered I have a scene already set up myself for the tutorial so I'm going to go to OK Topo Test which is this so I've, download, I've got acquired this model from a different 3D software it wasn't made in Blender but this is another test to see how it works with models that aren't made in Blender. And as you can see, I have the model right in the middle, right down the center. And once it's installed, it's on the uh, tool panel, which is the right hand side of Blender, which is right here. And all you have to do is just click on the eyedropper and click on your model. And now the add on knows uh, the model that you're wanting to retopologize. And then you click on add face markers. And it just follow the prompts pretty much. On this prompt, it says face, nose, tip. So we're going to click this one on the nose. The next prompt is face, left eye. So it's going to be right here. So like I said before, make sure it's in the middle because the add-on uses the center of Blender as a point uh, to adjust all these parameters, all these uh, points and dots here. So I'm going to click on that. The next point is face, left mouth corner. On the other side is right mouth corner. So find the corner of the mouth, click on that. And the good thing with this is you can still pivot around your model. So right now we want to click, it wants us to put the points on the ears. So hold down on my middle mouse button and move my mouse to move around my model. And it's best to place the points right in the middle of the ear right there. Left click. And now we have all the points uh, placed on our model. Uh, let's press 1 to get back into the face frontal uh, perspective. And your next step is OK Topology or OK Topo with Topology. Click on that. Give it a few seconds. And it doesn't really take that long to propagate uh, your mesh. And there you go. And it's just that easy. It gets 
it's down to the T, which is exceptional. And before you finalize it, if you feel that your mesh or the mesh that has been generated doesn't really cover uh, your model that well, just click on advanced settings and you can increase the displacement strength. Let's click this up and as you can see as we uh, crank this up, it covers more of the mesh, of our original mesh. And you can also adjust um, the points. So click on any point you want and press G on your keyboard and just move this around. Left click, G to grab. And because symmetry on the X axis is on, uh, once we move any points on the left side of the face, everything on the right side adjusts too, which helps us out. So G again, move this around. Okay, that looks, that's pretty good. Let's move this closer in. Can uh, hold down your middle mouse button and pivot your whole mouse around. And we want it to cover the ears a little bit more. Let's left click on that and press G. Now if you have a situation where you see kind of these these little spikes coming up, you can turn off the um, snapping. Left click on that and press G again. And that helps reduce those little issues with those little points coming out from our mesh there. If you still want to crank up the displacement strength, you can still do that. Cover up more of your ear here. And yeah, this looks pretty good. So once you're satisfied with the way it looks, and if you still want a higher subdivision for myself, I just leave the subdivisions as they are because you can still crank it up in the modifier stack. Or you can crank it up here because, but once you crank it up here, you can't reduce it. So if you have an issue where your computer really can't handle uh, this amount of uh, vertices, you really can't do anything about it. That's why for myself, I keep the sub subdivision level at one. And then I, I click on finalize mesh. And then if we move this over, click on a move gizmo, press one on keyboard and G on the X axis, move this over and we have it. We have this face here and it looks great. Like I said before, if you're still wanting to have a greater sub division levels on this remeshed model, click in there and go to generate and subdivision surface. And now you have that. Now you have more control over the number of vertices on this remeshed, which apologized model of the head. And that's just how easy it is to use to be the OK uh, topo add-on. Just, just like that. And that's pretty much it. So once the developer uh, adds more features to it where you can actually include the whole body uh, to remesh it or retopologize it, that's going to be all she wrote when it comes to retopology and Blender. I mean, I think everybody's going to start turning into Blender uh, to retopologize their models. Even if you're in ZBrush or you're, you're in 3ds Max or you're in Maya, you're going to Blender for this just this add-on alone. Yeah, that's today's Blender Quick Tip. Uh, you guys should download yourself and get the walkthrough and just check it out. This is something that's very, very exceptional and this is great. Uh, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.